Question 11 is about a bridge crane. So let's just draw the crane. Like this. I've immediately actually drawn the support forces. So this part here is the crane with the weight of the crane acting in the middle. The weight of the crane is actually what we need to work out. Part A of the question says when the bridge crane supports a load of 380 kilonewtons at its centre a force of 1600 kilonewtons is exerted on each pillar. Calculate the weight. Well, We don't know the weight so let's call this one here. If I call this point or this side A that's the support force at A, and this is side B, the support force in B. Now, as saying, well, if, if the weight is acting down at the centre, so I'm going to draw overlap my arrows, and the weight from the centre is in fact 380. Newtons. Part A. Because it's symmetrical and all of the weight is ha hanging from the middle, we have to assume that both of these are going to be equal. But we can still write it this way. The support at A plus the support at B if we are resolving vertically, okay, so the upward forces must be equal to the downward force, which will be 380 kilonewtons, but I'm going to leave it at 380 plus W. Now, what do we know? The question tells us that SA is equal to 1600 kilonewtons and SB is equal to 1600 kilonewtons. So therefore, adding these two together, SA and SB is going to be equal to 380 plus W. W is going to be, well this is Pausing a second. <laughs> Thirty-two thousand minus three hundred and eighty, which is two eight two zero kilonewtons. Remember. Now part B says the load is moved distance 2 meters. So let's assume it goes this way. Okay. This whole distance here, oops, is 12 meters. So if we draw another load this way here, and say, so well, actually, this is where the load is going to be now 380 kilonewtons, and that distance there is 2 meters. now says sketch the free body diagram and calculate the force on each pillar. Well I'm going to take moments around A. I could pick anywhere on the pillar but I'm going to choose A so that I eliminate this support force from my equation. So moments about A anti-clockwise equal to moments about A clockwise. So the anti-clockwise moment is just this support force here. So SB multiplied by the distance 12 is going to be equal to the weight which we've calculated over here 2820 kilonewtons 
multiplied by, well that distance there is half of 12, so it's going to be 6, plus the 380 kilonewtons, but that's going to be at a distance 6 plus 2, 8. So that will be equal to twelve lots of SB. So SB is equal to one nine nine six O divided by twelve, which is equal to one six six three. Kilonewtons, or you'd say that would be one six six zero kilonewtons to three sig figs. So we've worked out one. Let's work out the other one by resolving vertically. So SA plus. SB is equal to, so that's the two upward forces, it's going to be balanced by the two downward forces, so the weight 2820 plus the mass on the crane 380. We know what SB is, we've worked out here, so SA is going to be equal to 3. Two zero zero. That's those two added together. Minus SB one six six three, which is going to be equal to one five three seven kilonewtons. Or to do this to three sig figs, one five four zero oh kilonewtons. Oops, wonderful. Okay, just so you can actually see it on the video. <laughs> there we are, animated video. video. 